168 miles to go. And check engine light was like bleep 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 bleep. Cylinder six misfire. Uh, and I just happen to be going up a hill right now, so yeah. What do I do? You know what's funnier? Dave has all the tools. <laughs> this is the deface of defeat. This is the face of defeat. We ain't never defeated, bruh. It's just the beginning. I got the water pump. And we about to throw this baby in. And it's leaking. I'm still gonna take this. I'm over it. I did way too much not to go. Way too much, bruh. I'm treating so much love to this car. I never even treat that car with love. Quick update. $76. The journey's about to start. I'm leaving at 7 o'clock. 7.12 to be exact. Just throwing in the water pump, fresh oil change, fresh brakes. I don't know why I live for this shit. I just, I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Let me show you the setup real quick. Cooler, shout out to Rico. Some clothes, pillow, laptop, coolant, oil, camera. First time at Monterey Car Week. Let's see how this goes. Full tank for $76. 947. I've been on the road for approximately three hours now. This car is great, man. Ugh. I don't know how to talk about it yet. I don't know the words to talk about it, but although I'm enjoying it, it just feels good to do differently. This car is sick, right? It's even sicker, as you can hear some, right? Just pay attention real quick. The refrigerator's been running this whole time. And it actually is pretty cool. That is so sick. It's cool. It's not cold, it's cool, for sure. I'm tired. Well, we need to check if there's a cool leak. Dry, baby, dry. Hundred and sixty eight miles to go. And check engine light was like bleep 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 bleep. Although I am having a misfire, <laughs> some will say trip's over, right? <laughs> well, misfire, I was gonna pull around and pull in the city and just sleep in a parking lot. I wake up in the morning, look for a coil. That was my plan. As I went to make a U-turn, I just happened to find a trail. Went off roading with a misfire and no adjustable air suspension. <laughs> Even tell like where I'm at. I want to stay here tonight, but I'm not sure if I can. I mean, I don't see why I can't. You know what I'm saying? I'm on a cliff though. Ah, oh, man, I kind of do want to stay here. I'm gonna just stay here. Whatever. It's it's, it's late, bro. It's it's 12 o'clock. I don't think there's nobody coming. I mean, I seen another campground over there, but it was all packed. A little dinner for a night. I don't know if you guys can see, but let's see. Well, you can see the moon. You can kind of see the city. The city's literally right there. In the morning, I'm going to show you guys when we wake up. I'm going to post about that spot where I want to sleep on the cliff. <laughs> I was being logical. I was like, why sleep on the cliff? Sleep somewhere and then go take some photos over there. So that's what we're doing in the morning. Three sunroofs, bro. Three sunroofs. That's not sunroofs, it's moonroofs. But it's just such a glass house. In the morning, we gotta find a coil. We're gonna buy two of those mugs, too. Hey, morning, Carlos. I'm looking for a, a ignition coil for 06 Landover and LR3 with a 4.4. It looks like I got one for $61.99, or uh, I could order you all six for $377. I mean, I'll eat for $377.99. I'll take that one. Um, can you hold it? Uh, let me double check that I have it, and I'm going to put it right here on the counter. I'll be right back. Appreciate you. Second promising. That's one. Crazy thing is about this Land Rover is you would think they would not have parts. <laughs> Every time I call to them, yeah, we got the water pump. Yeah, we got the ignition coil. Yeah, we got this. We got that. Yeah, I have it here. I'm going to leave it right here on the counter when you come. So just uh, have them left on the counter while I'm not here. 
We on the road again, son. Well, we not on the road yet. I got no tools. Hopefully, Carl's let me borrow some tools and then we're on the road. Blessings, inshallah, man. This is who I is. I don't know why it took so long to do this. It's chapters. See, like I said, I'm not trying to force things. We here now, so we appreciating it. Lately, I've been in my solitude and this is what I've been doing with my solitude. All I need is, is a doggy, maybe a rooftop tent. And that's it, bruh. That's it, peace of mind. Now let's go get that ignition coil and get the day started because Dave is waiting for us. I texted him last night saying, yo, I can't make it. So we finna hit the road, Jack. But here, these from the six. Above the clouds, brothers. Above the clouds. You know, when you got the skills, bruh, there's no need to be stressing. You just invest in yourself. You're investing in your stock. You know what you can do. You become unbeatable. <laughs> like you guys know this is my vibe I like oh damn so I had put over here last night and I wanted to camp here but I was like I'm on the cliff but I don't let's not do that let's be smart I mean I was actually just chilling there for a minute and then I was like let me come to my senses I didn't think I would like a white car but <laughs> I'm digging it holy cow bro wow I always wondered how to find people like me that, that, that does stuff like this. You just do it and then you find people. There's like freaking three people I just randomly talking to. Like good energy vibes. <laughs> I'm gonna flick up with the film camera and then be on our way to go get uh, the ignition coil. Isn't this what this is all about? Like, isn't this why we like this? I'm just trying to get the car to run good, you know? I had a brief experience of what it could offer, so. I'm just here trying to get this baby up and ordering, ready to go for an adventure. Cylinder six still misfiring. I thought I got happy. I swapped in a new coil and I thought it went away. It didn't, it came back. So I swapped injector from six to one. So we'll see if this works. I am uh, three hours away from home at a random Harbor Freight and I'm just spinning bread. So fingers crossed. But isn't this why we do what we do is because we love it. I haven't got burned out yet. And I think typically Land Rover owners, they get burnt out. They just get burnt out of putting money into the car. But the thing is, I would gladly put money in this car if it rewards me, you know? The thing about BMWs is they reward me and I never put money in them. But these cars seem a little bit more particular, like a little diva girl, you know? What is that clicking noise? See, this is the thing, it idles good, and then it starts misfiring. What is that noise? Tick, 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 tick. So far, so good. Other than that, I did order an injector, and it's coming at the nearest so Riley's at 12.30. I don't even know what time it is. I also forgot to mention, after damn near like $150, I got a whole new toolbox set from Harbor Freight now. It's 11.21. I also forgot one bolt when I was doing the water pump fully. I don't know where it went, but I don't think this one bolt could have caused this. Let's see if my experience could have me have a bad taste in my mouth for a Land Rover. So far, for it allowing me to do what I did, I love it, but the f fact is I never had a four x four, so any car probably could have done that and I could have probably lived with it. Pal Rick. Where's your what? Pal Rick at. Oh, he's probably in the bathroom. Yeah? yeah. Well, I just want to thank you for your help. Oh, she no. helped me attend. Oh. Harbor Freight, you're watching. She oh. needs a raise. Oh, thank you. See ya, Patty. All right, we're on our way. Shout out to Rick, too. Rick, uh, Rick was amazing. Um, so, <laughs> let's hit the road, Jack. Fingers crossed. We're not coming no more. We're not coming no more. We're not coming no more, fellas. I'm, I'm not even going to turn the camera off because that's how... Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. No more check engine light. All right. It doesn't feel like it's rocking me to sleep anymore. Let's 
get this show on the road. I, it's, I'm like, I love the car. I do love the car, but the thing is about it, it's taken a lot to get to loving me. Like I'm really teaching this car how to love me and it, it, it don't want to love me. I'm trying to make it love me, but it doesn't want to. So let's see. So far so good. I think I want her over. Look at this. Dave, here I come. Dude, this pulling kind of hard, but I don't get it. All I did was did the whole switchy woo. Anyways, I'm grateful. Line over, thank you. Let's hit the road, Jack. 101. Two more hours to go. Look who I found. <laughs> Sabine. Hi. Oh, we were chilling like a villain. I, it, I, although it is car week, I've probably seen like a handful of cars. What do you mean? <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> um, we're about to head out now, though. I'm gonna pack this up. Did we find a camera? sick they look together and Dave and Therese are over there feeding the horse and donkey also someone else didn't bring their range so they slept in the <laughs> tent range <Hey. laughs> my body hurts hey, look at this car bruh I gotta tent the windows darker though to be honest ASMR via horse I'm probably training in bad habits because this could be a finger. Oh, I took the whole thing. Oh, Bro, what? Oh, Louise, wakey wakey, motherfucker. Besides the car going crazy that one time, overall, the car was a good car. I kept driving. I mean, the reason why I really kind of got stuck, I had the misfire and the car sometimes has a trouble shifting because it needs like a solar, it needs a trans service basically, which is a common thing with those cars. Um, just like BMW, their lifetime warranty, they say. So the transmission going uphill when I was misfiring, I just didn't want to jeopardize both of that. So. That's why I was like, I'll turn around. But right when I turned around, I found that little crevice. So far, the experience with the Land Rover have been great, man. You've seen what I did. Now, to update you guys, air suspension works. <laughs> uh, car still runs good. I've been dialing it. It's a very comfortable car. This is what I don't understand, and I hope like you know people don't really know about it yet. BMW guys, right? Us. Us BMW owners. <laughs> we'll do rod, not, rod bearings. We'll do all kinds of maintenance because we like the car. Now, going to like an off-roading 4x4 type of car, you have plenty of options out there. But this one is like a posh, it's almost like a BMW, right? In, in the aspect of you need to treat it with love. Um, in my experience, BMWs don't need this much love as I've been giving the Land Rover, but to say the least, this car needs more attention than the average 4x4, I would say. But it's so much more luxury, so much more comfortable, so much more elegance. <laughs> the same feeling I get in a 5 Series. With that being said, I love the stigma behind it because when I first started with BMWs, 
it was the same stigma. People always say, oh, they're gonna cost a lot. You're gonna need to fix it all the time. But once you immerse yourself in that lifestyle, it becomes normal, which we all know how BMW lifestyle is. So it's not much different with the Land Rover. And if you talk to actual Land Rover owners, they'll let you know their experience and how much they will do it over and over again. The, the same thing with BMWs. Like people tell you, oh, they're gonna break. Oh, they're horrible cars, but what do you do? You buy an old BMW for thousand dollars. You fix it up because you know how you save labor. The same thing with the Land Rover. The stigma is heavy behind them. And I get it, I get it. There is parts that you can't really get around of. Like the air suspension back in the day, you had to be minimum like $700 for a bag, right? Now, fast forward, aftermarket parts are, are good. So I was, I was struggling on how to end this video because in reality, like I put so many miles, I wanted to tell you guys about my trip, but the story behind it is just my experience with the Land Rover and so far, I would say it's like a nine out of 10, <laughs> besides the fact that, you know, it kind of, I did drop a lot of bread on this car. If I really sit down and be truthful with myself, right? The only thing that I really consider is overlanding is an expensive hobby. And I have a vision in my head. I want bigger tires. I want a roof rack. I want a rear tire mount. That's the only thing that intimidates me because I don't know how much I'm gonna do overlanding, which to be honest, once I do the transmission service, I'm gonna hit the road some more and go off-roading a lot more. But I need tires because I'm limited with the tires I have. And I'm looking at the bigger picture and I'm getting intimidated, I'll be honest. But step by step, I wanna make a beautiful rig and I'm excited for this whole different journey. You guys know I love adventure. At the end of the day, adventure is what I seek. And I love to explain and share it with my people on the internet. With that being said, I'm going to Orlando for work. <laughs> and if you guys don't know, it's, we're going to timestamp this. It's Hurricane Minton happening. So we'll see what happens. Just wanted to let you guys know because I've been locked in, boys. Locked in. Not so much with video editing, but at work, I've been actually locked in. I have a new, new, new setup here. Dual monitor setup. I'm running an Apple trash can now, and it's pretty seamless editing now. Which the only thing I can complain about is I am stationary, so I can't really go anywhere now. I do have my laptop, and I'm working on how to like switch from back and forth. But other than that, like I am enjoying this new setup and editing. I'm making sure I do to put the time in the edit. I think that's about it. I know the real ones are here, and thank you for watching. I, I love the fact that I have those like, I don't know how many people, but I, when you comment, I know who you are because you guys always comment on the video. The, the names is just familiar. So thank you for watching and continue to watch. That's about it. I don't want to ramble too much because I get carried away with doing that. M5 and SoCal Vintage is up soon. I just posted a, a short about me fixing the drive shaft, no, shift the linkage. Drive shaft is up. I got it back from the, the drive shaft shop. So SoCal Vintage BMW, I'll be there. If anybody's watching this video and they're there, please say what's up. That'd be so sick. All right, that, that's about it. I did another trip. It was a solo trip when I went camping and chasing waterfalls, which I am trying to make that a video, but I don't know. Look at this. For America in a British car. Kapow. Um, talk to me in the comments below. All right, fam. I'm trying to think of things, but here I go rambling, so. Deuces. All right, much love. Peace from the Middle East. Chicken grease. We'll see how Florida goes. Locked in, I'm telling you. Today is a good day. Why? Because we're one step closer to making this car come back to life. Shout out to some friends of mine for motivation and support because honestly, I don't even care about this car anymore. If you guys don't know what happened. Dude, this thing just blew up. That was crazy. I had blew up the drive shaft. If you're wondering how to blow up your drive shaft, slide in my DMs. And for a low cost of 5 dollars 
cup of coffee, I could teach you. All right, I'm so close, but yet so far. I gotta throw this dry chef in, so that's what we're doing today. I'm trying to have this ready by my favorite car meat, which is SoCal Vintage, so. Enough talking and more work, and yeah. It's been so damn long since I wrenched on this car, I forgot we have way more to do than just install the drive shaft. I have to make a custom linkage. I didn't have one. I was looking on Facebook Marketplace to cop one. Lucky for me, someone crashed my 540 and I parted it out. So I have all extra parts here that I'm gonna use and it's gonna live on in the M5. So bless the 540. After some measuring and some cutting and simply because we can, we laser welded the carrier together. finally have a shift rod and this mug feels good too to make it official let's throw the boot on voila all right i know we said we're gonna throw in the drive shaft but we're stopping there we'll get to the drive shaft later see you in the, in the next episode <laughs> 